All right, guys. So this is a video I never thought I'd need to make. Not the type of video I want to be making at all. Uh, but I do feel like it is my duty to let you guys know about my dealings with Baker Epoxy Coatings. Um, you guys have seen the floor in the videos and a lot of people were interested in it. A lot of people liked it. Uh, so I feel like I need to tell you the true story behind it and how things actually went down. Um, I will tell you the floor does look great from a distance. Uh, in pictures, all that stuff. Uh, when you're in the garage, when you're walking on the floor, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with it. I'm, I'm not happy with it at all. Um, so I'm just gonna run through a, a sh fairly short rundown of how things played out and went down. Um, so I originally reached out to these guys back on December 23rd. Uh, I, I probably should have seen a red flag back then as they weren't very good at responding, had a little, little hard time getting a hold of them. I originally reached out to them on Facebook uh, because they have Facebook ads. So I would assume, you know, that's an acceptable way to reach out to them. Um, I got a kind of little half response back from them. Uh, so I asked them to reach out and give me a call when they had a chance so we could discuss farther. I uh, never got a call from them. Um, so then I actually looked up their number and called them, left them a voicemail, never got a call back. Uh, so then I reached out to him on Facebook again and said, you know, hey guys, what's up? I'm trying to get a hold of you. Um, I want to get some work done. And so then they finally reached back out to me. Um, so on January 3rd, they came out to my garage and they took a look at everything. They gave me an estimate. Um, and, you know, obviously at that point they're out here, they, they look at the garage, they measure the size, you know, so they can give a, an estimate of what the cost would be. Um, so going back and forth, the following week, um, they were actually due to come out January 11th uh, to get this started. So the week previous, uh, we went back and forth in a few messages. Um, he had commented on wanting to bring a heater out uh, to get the garage slab a little warmer, um, which one of the things I've wanted to do for a while in this garage was to put a big uh, 50,000 BTU heater in here. Uh, so I went ahead and did that the week before just so everything would be nice and warm in here for them for their work. So they came out, um, I want to say January 11th, and started the process. January 14th, they were finally finishing up. Uh, January 15th was my first time being able to walk in the garage and, and see how it actually looked with everything uh, being dry and ready to go. Um, at the time, uh, when it was first finished, I was pretty excited about it. Um, I walked in here, took a look. Now, there were pock marks all over the place on the floor. I want to tell you it's probably 200, 300, maybe even more of them. Uh, but Jason from Baker Epoxy Coatings ensured me that that was no issue. Uh, they would be back out the following week. They would patch those spots up and you wouldn't even be able to tell they were there. Uh, so at that point I was, I was excited. I was happy because I loved the look of the floor. Um, other than those pock marks, I thought it turned out great and I was really excited about it. So fast forward following week, um, of course, they didn't show up, they didn't come out to fix it. Um, I went back and forth quite a few times just trying to get a hold of these guys just to find out what's going on and, and when they're going to be out to fix it. Uh, just so you guys can kind of see what I went through, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop a, a little shot of the Facebook messages so you guys can see for yourself. Uh, every time I reached out, there, there seemed to be an excuse. Uh, it was real hard to finally get them to come back out. Finally, they had told me that April 25th, they will be out to go ahead and patch these spots. Uh, long story short, yet again, more excuses. They never showed up till very late in the day on April 26th to get the process started. Uh, by the 28th, they were finished. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut to a video that I filmed of how the floor looked then. So go ahead and check this out. So I'm just making this quick video to show you guys exactly what's going on. Uh, just a reminder that the garage was done back in January 15th, I believe was the last day it was finished up. Um, and we had some spots on the floor that were, they were basically bubbles. And when the floor sanded down for the final, the final clear coat to be put on, the bubbles pop and they leave little pock marks. Um, so I just kind of want to talk about that a little bit. I want to show you guys that and so, you guys have probably caught it in some of the other videos. Videos, um, Like I said, the, the floor was done in January. Um, now we are in May. Uh, I want to say about two to three weeks ago, they came back out to go over these spots. 
Um, they had told me that you would be able to fill them in and, and you wouldn't be able to notice that they were even there. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, that's not the case. Um, the filling, the fill-in spots did not go well at all. So they're actually coming out back out this week to totally redo the whole floor. Uh, they're gonna sand it the whole way back down and just totally redo it. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I will keep you guys in the loop. I'll let you guys know how it turned out. So clearly not excited about the way the patch job went. Did not go well at all. They did come back out. Uh, they were supposed to be out on May 23rd. Um, I had stressed to them the whole time, had a family vacation coming up the following week. Um, so if they wanted to do that week, it was extremely important that they're out here on time. Um, they get the ball rolling and, and they get stuff finished up. Um, sure enough, they never showed on the 23rd. Um, I went back and forth with them on the 24th. They never showed up until late in the day on the 24th. Uh, that was a really disappointing situation there um, because basically I had found out uh, he told me that he was out of town. He was late getting back. Um, happened to have a buddy driving through Hershey and said, hey man, you know, funny story. I see Baker, coated, Baker epoxy coating trucks um, sitting in a warehouse out here doing some work. Um, so, you know, that was pretty upsetting to me to, to be drug along and told it was one thing just to find out they were actually just kind of blowing my work off to go ahead and get someone else's money. Um, but they did come out on the 24th, um, like I said, late in the day on the 24th. They basically got the garage floor finished up just in time uh, that I was leaving bright and early, 3 a.m. Saturday morning for my trip. And I actually had to wake up an hour early just to come out and put the vehicles back in the garage and put the garage together uh, because they, you know, took their time getting out here to do the job. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I see with the floor on this job. So just a reminder, the first time they were out here, the issue was in the epoxy. So when they do this, they put the layer of epoxy down, which is the cool looking design you see. And then they put a clear coat layer over top of it um, that also has some kind of grit in it so that when, uh, when the floor gets wet, you can walk on it and don't fall. Um, if you don't have that, it's gonna be like a skating rink in here and you're gonna bust your butt anytime the floor gets wet. Um, so like I said, the first time they did this job, the epoxy job was not good. The clear coat itself actually turned out very well. There were no complaints about that. It was just, it, it was all the pock marks in the epoxy itself. Uh, so now they came back out, they did this job a second time and the epoxy itself turned out great. Um, there were no pock marks from the epoxy. Uh, great sign. Uh, they came back and, and they put the clear coat on and when they first laid the clear coat, everything looked great. Um, as the clear coat started to dry, um, you can actually see where we have some, some buildup that showed up. Um, it's honestly, it's really hard to see in this video. Um, I feel like I'm nitpicking by making this video and com complaining about it. Uh, but honestly, it looks way worse in person than it does in the videos. Um, you can see it's really, it's, it's all over the place here. Um, it pretty much just kind of looks like dirt on the floor. Uh, so you, you see this and <laughs> it just looks like I haven't cleaned my garage floor, it just looks dirty. Um, and of course, even worse, where the majority of this buildup is at, actually sits right between where my cars park. So even having the cars parked in the garage doesn't hide this stuff. Um, honestly, it just, it looks horrible. Um, it, it just blows my mind how you know, they come back out to do this job a second time because of issues they had the first time. And look, I'm not complaining about somebody doing a job and having issues. I understand things happen. Um, what I am disappointed with is the way they reacted to it. Uh, so to take a little step back here and explain a little more uh, real quick here while I'm showing you guys, um, you can see, let me see if I can get it here. Uh, it's kind of hard to capture it because of this, the way the sun shining through the window. Um, along this whole back wall, you can see roller marks, um, which that in itself is kind of strange because the first time they came out and they did the floor, they, they didn't use a roller at all. They actually hand brushed the coating on, the clear coat on, 
Now, for some reason, this time they decided to roll it. What I gotta say is the most disappointing part of this whole experience um, is the fact that they basically refused to take ownership of what happened to the epoxy. Um, he pretty much, he kind of admitted that, you know, it wasn't done right, uh, but he never wanted to own up to it. So the, the two reasons he told me that the epoxy had those pock marks in, number one was he said it's because it's a cold slab. Obviously, we're in South Central PA. Uh, he came out and did the job. Like I said, it was January 11th. It's, it's cold up here. It's, it's 30 degrees or less up here. That's a well-known fact. He lives in the area himself. He knows that. Um, so to say that it's a cold slab, that shouldn't be a surprise to him. Uh, the, the second reason that he claims the issue happened was the slope in the garage. Uh, to, my, to my knowledge, most garages do have a slope in them. Uh, that way, you know, you get any kind of, you know, water if you're washing your car or anything like that in here, it runs out. Um, so those are the two reasons that he claims that we had the issues with the epoxy. Uh, I feel it's unf unfair to me. Um, he actually requested that I pay his materials for him to come back out and redo this. Uh, like I said, he came out here, he saw the slope in the garage. I'm telling you guys, it's not a crazy slope. It's, it's a normal looking garage. Um, he knew darn well what the temperature was. Uh, like I said in, in the earlier message I posted up, he even set himself about bringing a heater out to warm up the garage. Um, I had went ahead instead and one-upped it and put the 50,000 BTU heater in here. Uh, so. Look, if you're going to take a guess and hope that the garage is warm enough, I, I get it. And once again, you know, mistakes happen, issues happen. I, I just ask that you own up to it. Um, <laughs> he originally, when he came out, when uh, him and I walked through the garage after the patch, patchwork was done the first time, um, you know, he said, look, what do you think? You know, he said he wasn't happy with it. I told him I wasn't happy with it. Um, and he basically said, you know, look, we, we don't want to come out here and do this for free. Um, and I, I told him, you know, I, I try to be a really fair person. And my first instinct, trying to be a decent and fair person is, you know, look, I, I, I don't expect anyone to do work for free. Um, I do feel that it's on him. I do feel that it's his fault these issues happened. Um, but basically I told him, look, what amount are you even thinking? What are you, what are you asking me for? His response back was, I'm not too sure. I'll have to check it out. When I get home, I'll get back to you. Uh, so fast forward to the day that he was coming back out to redo this floor. Um, for the first time, I kind of had a little bit of an argument with him um, after finding out that he was at a different job instead of coming out here to take care of this. Um, I, was, I was pretty disappointed. And I basically reminded him, look, I'm not happy with this job. It's not okay. You've had my money since January 15th, um, paid in full, and I still don't have a garage that I'm happy with. Um, at that point, he came back and said, well, look, you still owe me to redo it anyway. And I said, okay, so, you know, what, what amount are we talking about? I said, you never got back to me like you said you would. Of course, he comes back and says, Oh, I told you the day I was there, it was going to be $1,500. Okay, so let's stop right there for a second. $1,500 for a mistake that I feel is 100% on them. Uh, I was not happy about that. <laughs> uh, I pretty much told him there was no stinking way I was ever going to pay him $1,500 $1, to fix his mistake. He came down to $1,000. I told him, look, man, I am not happy at all. I'm extremely disappointed in the fact that you expect me to pay for, for your mistake. I said, look, I said, I will give you $500 just to get this mess over with. I'm not happy about it, but, but you kind of got me in a corner. I need my garage fixed. You know, what else do you expect me to do? He came back and said, the best I can do is 800. I once again told him I was very disappointed in it, uh, but I have no choice. So I paid him the $800 to come back out and do it. Um, now, as you see, I just showed you the floor. 
even after paying the $800 on top of the $3,500 that I originally paid him to get this floor done, it's still not right. And I, I'm extremely disappointed. Um, you guys obviously can, can make your own decisions if you ever want to do business with this guy in the future. I will tell you, I will personally never recommend this guy to anyone. I will never have him do another job for me. Uh, just extremely disappointed all over. Um, not just in the work, but in the attitude, um, in the way that he couldn't even admit to his issues, the issue that happened, um, and demanding that I pay him to fix his mistakes. Uh, just extremely disappointing. Um, like I said, I, I just, I can't recommend anyone ever use him. Um, so, well, once again, guys, not the video I looked forward to making. Uh, I never want to ever have to make a video like this. But like I said, I just, I had to let you guys know. So, have a good day.